Hello and good morning boys and girls. I hope everybody's doing okay. So I'm out early-ish again this morning. I try and keep the grumpiness in check. Uh, I'm, I'm in a place called Foulfield today, just outside of Bristol. Or oh, still, I don't know if it's classed as Bristol actually. It's not too far away, anyway. But I've come up today, um, there's a prison just around the corner, female prison, Ashfield prison. So, I had a little thought about coming here, and um, then I did a little bit of research just to give you some facts, and it's quite a shit prison. Got some shit votes. Shit, shit, um, not votes, for fuck's sake. Uh, some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reviews? Is it reviews? Inspections, that's the word. Don't shout at me, look. Anyway, so I come for a little recce as soon as I got here. And there's a sign that says private road leading up to the road that goes up to the prison. So um, if we get any, if we get, if I get asked to leave, I am, I'm actually going to leave this time. I know I've said that before and I haven't, um, but I'm not trying to, well, I just basically I don't want to do anything wrong, but at the same time, I'm still, I'm anxious of obviously catching on camera what we want to catch on camera. So as far as leaving goes, when asked to, I will. Here we are anyway. We're at the entrance. I don't know how far down this road it is. But I know that it's not an open prison. So it's not gonna I'm not gonna walk in into prisoners, inmates. So let's go and have a look. Oh I've walked quite a way down this road now and I Still can't see it anywhere. I see the little castle on the hill, the house on the hill up there. Eastwood Manor, I think that's called. Or Eastwood Park Manor. Had a really nice Christmas lunch in there one year. It was nice, apart from they ran out of roast potatoes, which was not so great. How'd you run out of roast potatoes at a Christmas dinner? You'd make sure you had enough, wouldn't you? Anyway, I can see the the uh, perimeter of the prison now so we're almost there it stinks around there though it's shit spreading day we well, fertilizer day in Bristol we have that anyone from Bristol will tell you every now and then it just stinks like shit we have this strange thing in Bristol they call the Bristol hum if it, at night time you can just hear a humming sound in the air just it's just nobody knows where it's from so if any of you have ever heard of it or if you have any um, any ideas on what it could be we'll get some comments down right <clears throat> here we are anyway somewhere not at the front gate some of the back near the house blocks look that's got to be a house block all right let's get my little facts out there and i can tell you some more i don't have a great memory so i do have to write the facts down and uh, i have to give a shout out to live free as well because every time i come to do a prison audit i think to myself do you know what should have left it to live free but <coughs> you know because that's his thing and he does it very well Anyway, 1998, so they turned into a female prison in 1996. 1998, they received a warning for keeping too many inmates in small cells. Now, obviously I don't know what it's, what it's like in there in terms of cell size, but if any of you have ever been in a cell, it's tiny anyway. So for them to be in even smaller cells seems a little bit strange. Uh, then everything seemed to be quiet until 2002 when they had another report which showed serious risk of suicide and self-harm and it was referred to as an establishment in crisis so the staff were having lots of trouble 
uh, creating decent conditions for the inmates apparently so yeah they had a, quite a scathing review then um, it was quite bad there's a huge drug problem in here as well I don't know if I mentioned before but I'll get to that shortly uh, I mentioned the 56 suicides back in March in 2004 strangely they had another inspection on that day as well which stated that they were facing major challenges which is what it was classed down as. Ain't that a lovely tree? Look at it. Beautiful. Um, it is nice around here. They've got nice surroundings to look out at. Um, where are we? Then we have to jump forward to 2016, where we come to um, a lady known as a lady called Jessica Whitchurch. Now I read the story, I read this story earlier when I, before I came out actually and it's a really, really, really sad story man. Um, guys, take a look on Google and see if you guys can find it. Um, Eastwood Park, Jessica Whitchurch. Where, so what happened was is uh, she committed suicide in here in 2016. Now she committed suicide after being Oh, she, she, she went to the screws and she told the screws that she was being bullied um, and stuff like that and that she needed assistance and um, basically that she was being bullied and she was being told by other inmates that she should go and commit suicide so she, she eventually she did now the strange thing about this is is that she actually committed suicide while she was on suicide watch now it was found and confirmed that she was able to commit suicide because she wasn't watched properly which is disgusting and really sad and I, and I, and you know the saddest thing about it is is nobody nobody got in trouble for that nobody which is not great you know i i, I believe this is, don't quote me on this because I'm just remembering back from what I read online earlier, but I believe it was admitted as well that the screws who should have been looking after her, that they failed. They failed. So, I mean, somebody should be held accountable for that, I believe. Because at the end of the day, a poor young woman lost her life because other people told her to take it and she I think how much think how down you must be or you must feel to actually turn around to yourself and be like do you know what these people are right I should I should take my own life now you have to be in a pretty a pretty bad place for you to to, to genuinely feel like that but that's the entrance there to the prison by the way but um been rambling on as we walk past but we'll go up around here and see how far around the perimeter we can get and take a little look around it's quite a big place isn't it for somewhere that holds only 400 prisoners 400 inmates it is quite a big place it used to hold more i believe but yeah so what i was saying about the uh, the drug problem which would be my last fact actually my last little bit of information and i'm, I'm probably just going to waffle on but um yeah there's a massive drug problem in here to the point where there are terms like a term sick meth now i've never heard of that term before sick meth until this morning and what that is is basically they just regurgitate their methadone regurgitated methadone wow so sick meth also other things that they do is hide cotton wool and tampons and stuff in their mouth so when they drink their methadone it gets absorbed in the tampon or the or the cotton wool and um and then they could go and squeeze it out guys the camera's going to go a lot shakier at the minute because i need to prepare my camera and take it off of this little stand thing i've got it on ready for uh, a battery change what's what's imminent um I didn't realise this battery wasn't wasn't charging, but you'd be grateful to know I found a way to stitch my videos together now. <laughs> so rather than have them in various parts, I can do just one one little uh, or one one actual video. So 
yeah so forgive the shakiness from now on guys where that gimbal that i bought the other week was horrendous yeah and it broke straight away and um the thing that came with it which isn't actually a gimbal i don't actually know what it is it is it's basically it's just shit so i've given up on that uh, and we'll just wait until i can get a, a, a better gimbal uh, i don't actually use my phone to record though which is proving more difficult because you know someone who doesn't really know what a gimbal was until you guys mentioned it i um when i went to look they pretty much all geared towards phones not cameras and uh i've got a camera so that's why it, it that's why i'm having trouble anyway blah 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 um i hope you guys don't mind too much anyway i'm gonna say the shakiness gives it a little bit of character <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to say that anyway. I'll probably be told different. But I haven't seen one person this morning. I know it's bank holiday weekend, which means extra bang up for everyone. But then again, it's the weekend, so it's, it's probably a long bang up anyway. But well, we've walked quite a way around this perimeter. I haven't noticed any of the cameras follow me either at this point, but that doesn't mean to say that that they're not. See private property, that field. I wonder what is in there. It's probably part of the estate for um, the the house, the big house that I showed you earlier. If I go down there, am I going to get? Let's go along and see what we can do, see what we can find. Uh, oh shit, I can't get... Oh, can I? Fuck's sake, where am I going? I'm on a full-on live free mission right now, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not going to be climbing no walls, Chris. <laughs> do you know what? Fair play to you for that. That did crack me up when you were up on that roof. That did make me laugh a lot. So I can hear, I don't know if you guys, if the camera's picking up, the microphone's picking up that sound, but oh my god, how far around does this go? But um, I can hear lots of female voices. I don't know whether that's from, I mean, what time is it? I don't even know, I don't have my phone with me. So it's, it's around 9.30, 9.45. So I'm wondering if maybe they're all off to education or on their Sunday, innit? I don't know, they're up to something. There's some kind of movement going on. And uh, you're probably really picking up the sound of my flip-flops right now, aren't you? <laughs> but it's a nice warm morning today, it's nice. Better than it has been. Yeah, can I just get some girls on exercise? Can you hear? Oh, they went silent when I said that. Maybe they could hear me. Yeah, so anyway, quickly going back to that Jessica Whitchurch. So I found out, um, found a little brief little write-up about it. But I also found the, the Bristol Post actually did a... a quite a big story on it as well so it's one of those ones that you'd be able to search up and actually hear about it because it is quite it is well not quite sad it's very sad it's really really sad but yeah so if any of those police con not police constables if any of those screws come out I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what they got to say although judging by any of the prison audit videos I've seen they're not going to say fuck all, are they? If you guys see anybody walking the perimeter fence that looks suspicious, guys, give them a call. You know, for all I know, when it comes to prison audits, right, where, where you live, uh, 
Chris, Live Free, has been out and about quite regular. I do think the prisons are scared. I think they're worried. And it wouldn't surprise me if some kind of email had gone round saying, you know, be on the lookout for people walking the perimeters, videoing, stuff like that. It really wouldn't surprise me. I think I've come back round to the front now, almost. It didn't actually take that long to walk around, to be fair. It's just being a lazy git. Oh my god, I'm nowhere near the I'm nowhere near the front. Bro. Fucking flies everywhere. You can fully see the house, but it looks like just one house block. Oh shit, there's fence there, am I? I'm, looks like I'm inside the prison grounds. Fuck it. Like I said, if they ask me to leave, I'll leave. So yeah, here we are, full circle of the prison, guys. Full circle of HMP Eastwood Park. Pretty decent walk around. Pretty quiet out here. We're going to take a we're going to take a photo of the front just for um for our thumbnail, and then we will get off back round by the house blocks. I would say that they're all still sleeping, but I know that that's not going to be the case. Yeah, one final look at the front of the building for uh, a little thumbnail and we'll be away. Exceptionally quiet. Nobody came out, nobody was interested. Which is good, it's a pass. Because I'm not doing anything wrong, as we all know. That's a separate house block to that to the ones over there. They're separated by a gate, so I wonder if that one there is for the von the one we just passed is for the vulnerable prisoners maybe because they seem to have their own little section judging by judging by the arrangement of the fences inside. So it definitely looks like they're segregated. There are trees inside that part of the can you see that? There are trees, so grass inside a jail. Can you believe it? Yeah, one last look at the fence. Somebody's calling me. So me? Sorry, I can't hear. What did you say? I am, yeah. Why is that? Is that, am I breaking the law? Yeah. What law am I breaking? Wait, it's a case of it as far as security and I think... So it's not, it's not against the law then? I don't think it is, no. Why did you tell me it was then? <laughs> so I, have, I thought you said it was against the rules. No, 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 no. Alright, no, That's it's um, just for our own security and everything like that. Oh, so as long as so I'm we'd not... I'd prefer if you wouldn't okay. point towards the prison or towards staff. So as long as I'm not breaking the law, yeah. I'll be carrying on. Okay. I was wondering if you could let me know anything about Jessica Whitchurch. No? I'm not too sure. She commits suicide in here whilst on suicide watch after being told by loads of inmates to go and kill herself. This was back in 2016. I wasn't here at that point. No? no. Okay. Alright okay. mate. Well I'm I'm gonna continue on anyway, so um I'm just gonna I'm nearly finished. I've walked all the way around the perimeter. Really? Nobody yeah, I've walked all the way around. Oh I haven't. I've been here for twenty five minutes. I've walked past here once already. Have you? Yeah. I've I walked past here, I went up there, I went all the way around the perimeter. Round over that side, you've got a little sterile area with a sign that says no dogs, uh, that says you've got dogs, yeah. that patrol. You've got these triangle signs all the way around the perimeter, haven't you? You've got that road, a, you can't cross into the field, yeah. then it goes round to the right. I've walked all the way around, dude. So, oh, right. Yeah. I, didn't, I haven't seen you. <laughs> I better not tell your superior that, then you get in trouble. <laughs> 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 no, 
no, I, honestly, though, I'm not causing any problems. I literally, I'm just doing a little story about about Jessica and what happened here. Okay. Um, and I, I've practically finished. I'm literally just walking up to take a sign that says, uh, take a picture of the sign that says, "Welcome to H&B Ashfield." Okay, take a picture. No, I'm, I'm asking nicely, please. No, I know. I it's do. just for security. Yeah, no, no, I know. I know you're asking nicely, but I'm going to because I'm because I'm allowed to. So I'm going to just do it. <laughs> All right. Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it moved over to another video right then. I don't know how much of that interaction is going to have been on that first video. Mind you, I'm only 13 seconds into this one, so perhaps you got the whole thing, but. He told me not to go and take a picture of the sign I'm going to purely because he didn't actually ask me to leave um, had he asked me to leave I'd have left but he lied to me at first by saying it's against the law and then he was like I don't actually know well, I don't want him to get in trouble especially because he didn't see me pass the first time <laughs> which is funny He's probably playing on his phone or something. <laughs> but he's cool. He was actually all right. So there we are. HMP Eastwood Park. We get the rest of the signs, the usual suspects. Don't chuck anything in. Don't try and get anybody out. Getting plagued by a wasp now. Gonna have to run away because I don't like them. So where we are guys, that was HMP Eastwood Park Eastwood Park. A nice little walk around. Tiny little interaction with that guy, which was a lot less than I expected, to be honest with you. Had he have caught me on the first go round and asked me not to go up, things might have been different, but turns out that he was actually okay. I wonder if there is anybody here who will come and talk to me about Jessica. Let's go and ask, shall we? So the governor's telling everybody where to park as well. Yeah, there's another prison not too far away, around the corner. Maybe I'll go there for you. That's not one that I can walk around though. We've got two other prison officers coming out now. So I'm wondering if they're coming over to me. But as I was saying, I was potentially gonna go over to the other prison, which is literally just across the road. So it's a criminal offense to bring a mobile phone into the prison. Who would have known that, huh? Me? Yeah. You How come? Prison? Sorry? You prison? I am, yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to. Why? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm just a I, I, I'd make videos. Yeah, but you've got to have permission to do from, that. From whom? The governor. No, I have permission from the police. No, you speak to the governor because no, he's the governor's is prison. The, is the, no, but this oh, is. Yeah. Well, have you? Yeah. Um, could we just take your name, sir? That's all. No. It's just for in case anything comes up. Nothing's going to happen. No. Nothing's going to happen. I'm not engaged in any hostile reconnaissance. As I explained to you before, yeah. I'm just doing a story on Jessica Whitchurch. Is there anything? Do you know anything about Jessica Whitchurch? Yeah, but. Would you like to say anything about Jessica? No. No. It was sad, though, wasn't it? So. Um, just one give, one question then about give Jessica. Your name? No. no. One question okay, about then. Jessica. Okay. Just one question about Jessica. Move on. How does she commit suicide whilst on suicide watch? Because that's a bit bad, isn't it? And she, she, approached, she approached prison officers and told them about that inmates were telling her to kill herself. But the prison service didn't do anything. Why was that? Could you tell me why that was? Sorry, so we're not allowed to answer any questions. Oh, is that because the governor told you not to answer questions about so it? We we're not allowed to, to, to basic protection. Data protection? 
All right, is the is the governor available or somebody that might ask a, might answer some questions about not Jessica? On, not on a weekend. No. Not on a weekend. No. Middle management day. To, to, <laughs> to have any information like that, you'd have to request it from a governor. Okay. Unless I just ask them outright and see what their reaction is. Were you on the wing where Jessica was? You can't give Miss. me that information. Were you on no the wing comments. where Jessica was? Okay, no comment. Are you going to comment over can it? Was ask, it, it? Can I ask you to move on, please? Yeah, where would you like me to go? Somewhere, somewhere away? the prison premises. Where are the, pri where are the prison grounds uh, the end? Police, at the public house, top of the road. So all of those houses along this road there are pr prison houses? Yeah. They're owned by the prison? Mm -hmm. Did the prison paint the double yellow lines along that the road? The entire... But did the prison paint the double yellow lines? There are double yellow lines marked all the way down that road. And council signs? Did the prison put those up as well? Yeah. They did? They put council yeah, signs we, up? we maintain the road. You maintain the road? Yeah. For the res on the residents' behalf? Yeah. Okay, so there's an agreement with the residents, is there? Yeah. Some kind of agreement. Okay. What about the other lady who was coming out with you, Miss? Is she willing to talk about Jessica? No one will. Nobody will. No. Somebody will, because somebody in here has got heart. We're not allowed to. No. Have you been told specifically don't speak about Jessica? Since we've is been that told this about everyone? Oh yeah. No, we're not allowed to give any information out or anything like that. Fair about enough. Anyone who's within us. Fair state. enough. I'm not trying to give you any grief, by the way. You've been so nice yeah, yeah. to me. You have. Right. So I'm not so trying to give you any grief. That's yeah. why. Ask one last thing. Could you? Yeah, so I'm going to leave because you asked me nicely, of course, okay. yeah. Um, just because you asked me nicely, though, because I don't Thank actually you. have to, but um, you've been called also. It is classed as private. It's, yeah, but it's owned by HM Prison Service, which yeah. is owned by the Crown, and the people fund the Crown, which would mean that it yeah. can't ever be private property to me. So I couldn't ever be trespassed, well, I could be trespassed from here, but again, it's a yeah. civil matter, which wouldn't, you know, and calling the police would be actually a criminal offence. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, as I've asked, could you just nice... And I've asked nicely, could you... Is she calling out? the police on me, though? Because if no. she's calling the police on me, I'm going to stay. No, she's not. not. No. She's definitely not. No. I've already spoke to someone, and, yeah, there's... You know what I'm doing already? Can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As I've asked, as I said, I'm asking nicely, could yeah. you just leave yeah, us? Are, yeah, they are. I will. I, yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, mate. Bye. I couldn't be a prick to him. He was safe. So I'm going to go. But I'm not going to stop filming as I go. I said when I first came in, when I got asked to leave, I would leave anyway, so. But yeah, anyway guys, that was um, HMP Eastwood Park. No, nothing being asked about, nothing being answered, sorry, about Jessica. Um, that screw lady quite openly said that she was here when it happened, but wouldn't comment on it. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, that was that was HMP Ashfield, uh, not HMP Ashfield, HMP Eastwood Park for you. We had a good walk around the whole perimeter. We didn't get stopped. I'm interested to know where those two, um, excuse me, where those two female screws came from because they came out of the main entrance gate. So, And then the guy came out, he obviously saw that he said that he'd already spoken to me. So, um... So they obviously hadn't spoken to him, and he hadn't called them, but yeah, he'd spoken to, he said he'd spoken to a governor and he'd been told just to ask me to leave, try and get my name. Um, he didn't press it, he was cool. But yeah, anyway guys, that was it. So I'll catch up with you again shortly on the next audit. I don't know if that's gonna be today or I'm not actually free for the next week or so either, so there's not going to be any new updates after this video. Um, oh, actually, while I'm on it, while I'm on this video, um, a little while ago I mentioned I put a poll up. I don't know if all of you guys voted, but I put a poll up about my uh, thank you to my 5,000 subscribers, <laughs> which I wasn't able to do until kind of now-ish. But that 5,000, those for five, those 5,000 subscribers. I've massively gone up now and probably by the time if I'm lucky by the time I do actually do my um, do my or my, my special audit it's going to be 7,000 subscribers so on on this video um, get down in the comments I, I've got a number in mind so uh, the winner of the the poll actually before I say that was was going to be a random choice from a random subscriber so I'm really going to hope 
really hope that it's not going to fall on to one of the trolls that I have who's going to try and get me beat up or try and set me up or something. Um, but I welcome it. I just love when people bring their whole crew. DMX says it's just another bigger piece of cake for me to chew a hole through. So, um, yeah, I've got a number in mind. So, I'll, um, I'll pick that person out, that number comment, and um, let them choose choose where where I go for my special audit so make it a, make it a good one you know I'm uh, I'm up for going I'm up for going anywhere exciting I don't particularly want to travel a huge amount if I if I can get away with it I don't want it to cost me a fortune but I will travel isn't that strange man all those flies covering that car I reckon there's a dead body in there that is strange because there are a lot of flies over that car. That is strange. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too far, but I will travel. That doesn't mean that I won't travel. I do own a car and I will go somewhere. So get your thinking caps on. Think about where you might want me to go. And, um, and I'll get down there. Anyway, that was uh, Eastwood Park. Peace.